Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a survey in Microsoft Teams using Microsoft Forms. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the channel of the team that you want to create the survey in. In this case, I'm going to be creating it in the general channel of my finance team. Then you want to click on the add a tab button. That is this plus sign that is at the top of your channel. This is gonna bring up a full list of all the different available apps that you can add as a tab in your team. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select Microsoft Forms. Forms is a tool that you can use to create surveys, quizzes, and polls. And when you click on this, you have a choice to create a new form or to add an existing one. You can also access Microsoft Forms um, through the browser directly and create your form um, through the Forms user interface. We're just going to show you how to do it here in Teams. And so I'm going to create a new form or survey uh, to Canvas feedback on a new finance policy. So let's call this finance policy review uh, Q1. I'm going to click on save, and this is going to allow me to create my survey. So this is the forms interface as it appears in Microsoft Teams. Um, you can edit the header or name of your survey. So uh, I'm just gonna call this finance policy review, and let's give it a little description here. The survey will collect feedback on the latest finance policy. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our questions into the survey. And so what you want to do is you want to click on the add new button. This is going to bring up a list of different question types. So you can see here you can have choice type questions or you can have text. I'm just going to delete this and click add new ratings, date, time questions. Um, and if you click on the little drop down arrow, then you can access additional question types such as ranking, net promoter score, or even sections. Okay. Uh, so we're going to add a choice type question. So I clicked on choice. I'm going to add in my actual survey question, which is have you reviewed the latest finance policy? question mark. If you wanted to add a picture, you could do that by clicking on the insert media button. One of the cool things about forms is they even give you some suggested options here in terms of responses or answer types. And so I am going to click on yes, and that's going to make my option one a yes. And I'm going to click on no, which is going to make my uh, second option here a no. If I wanted to delete an answer type, I could just hover over it and click on the uh, garbage bin icon. Uh, and if I want to rearrange these, I could drag and drop. Um, and uh, similarly, if you wanted to add options, uh, you could do that by clicking on the add option. Okay. Um, if you wanted to allow respondents to have multiple answers, you could just toggle the multiple answers on. And if you want to make this required, you can uh, check required as well. Okay, uh, so I'm going to just leave this as the first question and click off of it. And you can see here, have you reviewed the latest finance policy? Yes or no. I'm now going to add in a second question by clicking on add new. Uh, and this time I'm going to again have a choice type question. Um, and I am going to use one of their suggested questions as a template. So I'm going to select overall, how satisfied were you with the event? And I'm going to click add selected. Uh, and I'm okay with the scale, but I'm going to change the question to make it a little more specific to my survey. So I'm going to say overall, how satisfied are you with the new finance policy? And I'm going to leave this scale as is, uh, and I'm going to come down and make this required. Okay, so I've got two questions. Have you reviewed the latest finance policy? Uh, and overall, how satisfied are you with the new finance policy? Now, you also have the option of adding in branching. Uh, so that essentially branching allows you to incorporate logic into your survey. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to click into my first question here. Um, and to add in branching, what you want to do is you want to click on the uh, more settings for this question button here. And you want to come down to add branching. 
Um, and essentially what this does is it allows you to add some branching to each of the different responses. So if yes is selected, then go to this question. And if no, then you go to um, the next question. So to actually add in your logic, I'm going to select um, go to number two. So the logic is if you have reviewed the latest finance policy, if you've said yes, then you're going to be asked how satisfied were you were with it. Uh, and if you select no, then go to the end of the form. Okay. Uh, and now we're still in the branching options menu. So what you want to do is click on back and that's it. So I'm just going to leave this survey as is two questions. Have you reviewed the latest policy? If yes, how satisfied were you with it? Uh, and if no, then end of the survey. Now, just a few other notes about how you can uh, format your surveys in Teams is you can also um, apply a theme by clicking on the theme button. So Teams uh, or Forms rather has some templates that you can use. You can upload your own theme if you wanted to. Uh, I'm just gonna make this survey blue. Um, and if you also want to get into some additional settings like permissions, who can access this, click on the more option. Um, you also here can access settings. Uh, you can make this survey multilingual. We're going to click into the settings just to show you what that looks like. And the key settings for your surveys are who can fill out this form or this survey. Um, so you can choose to make this available to anybody or only specific people. Uh, we're just going to leave this as anyone can respond. Um, and then options for responses. Um, this is essentially what information do you want to record? Uh, and so, you know, we want to accept responses and also uh, maybe you want to put in a start end date so you can only respond to this survey between these date and times, okay? Um, you can also display a customized thank you message and send email receipts to your uh, participants if you wanted to, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna preview this by clicking on the preview button. And so this is to give you an idea of what the survey is going to look like when users access it. Um, and the cool thing here is that you can actually toggle between computer and mobile. Uh, we're just gonna fill this out in computer. And so let's go ahead and let's fill this out. So have you reviewed the latest finance policy? I'm going to say yes. You can see here that it dynamically showed me the second question. And then I'm going to um, submit my response here and that's it. Okay, now we'll go back to our main um, tab here. And you can see in the responses tab that there is a new response received. And this is pretty cool. Again, uh, forms will just show you a nice little dashboard with um, the responses to the questions that you've included. So this is a handy tool to use inside of Microsoft Teams for the purposes of creating surveys, you know, collecting feedback information from uh, your various team members. Um, so that's it. This was a quick little tutorial on how to use Microsoft Forms in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video. Please drop a comment below. Uh, and if you want to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.